。第三十四條呢，看似非常直白，但其實呢都係得三成八嘅同學答啱嘅啫。咁我就問返啦，下面邊一個情況呢？係能夠確保得到呢？我哋喺大動脈嘅血呢，係持續流動嘅。咁其實啦，有邊個答案必然正確呢？一一定係㗎啦，因為我哋嘅心臟不斷咁泵血㗎嘛，係咪？跟住啦，去到第二、第三個開始難啦，大動脈嘅血管壁，佢有個彈性，係咪就導致到啦？大動脈嘅血係持續流動呢，呢、这個係嘅。咁啊，因為動脈呢係有一個彈性嘅組織，當個心臟一泵血嘅時候呢，佢就會俾人脹脹咗。但係當個心臟一收縮嘅時候呢，其實血壓一低呢，嗰、那個彈性嘅組織呢就會回彈返。當佢回彈嘅時候呢，其實就會將啲血呢繼續。逼前去行啦，所以咧呢一句系正確嘅。咁跟住啦，就去到第三句，究竟系唔系啊？第三句就话啦，我哋咧大动脉嘅血管壁咧，佢系识得收缩同埋放松。呢一句咧就真係好考我哋 concept 啦，呢一句説話咧就真係好考我哋 concept 啦，因為啦喺動脈嘅話咧，我哋咁啊 so w a 佢的確係可以 contract 同 relax 嘅，但係我哋講緊嘅咧係小動脈而唔係大動脈，喺個小動脈嗰處啦，我哋透過收縮放鬆個肌肉層啦，就去改變嗰個內腔嘅大細，從而咧係去控制翻流去身體唔同部分嘅血液嘅流量，而呢個咧正正就係、是。Blood reallocation 血液重新分配嘅概念嚟嘅，所以啦特别要留意嘅就系小动脉系为咗控制血液嘅流量流去唔同类型嘅器官，而并非咧去泵血。咁所以啦，三咧系错。咁但系点解咁多同学都会揀咗三作为答案以为 D 呢？咁就系因为啦，佢哋就将 muscle wall 同埋 elastic tissue 咧就混为一谈啦。因为可能佢哋记得有回弹呢件事啊嘛。啊，点解会弹下弹下噶？哦，系咪啲肌肉收缩啊？正正就错晒啦。所以咧，答案咧就系 A 啦。Question thirty four is seems like to be a very easy question. However, there were only thirty eight percent student get it correct. So which of the following contribute to the continuous blood flow in the aorta? So first of all, pumping action of the heart it must be correct. So let's take a look at the statement number two. Elastic nature of the wall of the aorta. So the elastic tissue in the artery, the elastic layer allow the artery to distend and recoil. When the heart contract, the blood is forced out of the heart, and the artery will distend. And when the heart relaxes, the arteries will recoil, causing the blood to flow forward. This maintains the continuous blood flow. So that's why number one and number two they are correct. So what about number three? The contraction and the relaxation of muscle wall of the aorta. So it's really checking our concept. What is the functions of the muscle wall of the artery? So particularly for the arterial, the muscle layer will contract and relax to change the size of the lumen. Ultimate goal is to regulate the amount of the blood. To different body part, so that's the concept of blood reallocation. Reminds us that the arterial can constrict and dilate to control to regulate the blood flow to the skin surface to increase or reduce the heat loss. So that's why for number three, that's the wrong concept. The muscle wall of the aorta it does not contract or relax to pump the blood. Why so many students? They got this wrong because they mix up the muscle layer and the elastic layer. The elastic layer it can distend and recoil, and then they mix up with the muscle layer to contract or relax. So that's why the answer is A, but not D.